Hey everyone, I am Nakaichi of Sentaku Media, and here I am going to show you how to get this cool spectralizer as you see behind me. So all you need to do is download OBS, obviously, and get a copy of the spectralizer plugin. And I want to show you how to set it up right here in this video. go to the link in the description which will take you to this page as um, obsproject.com for the spectralizer plugin as of recording this we have first in 1.3.4 which was released on January 28 2021 but it works in the latest version of OBS which is 27.1.3 so we're gonna go ahead and download it which will take you to the github page for this plugin and then you have options right here based on your operating system so you got linux windows and mac os but for my situation we're going to download the windows installer which will automatically install the plugin into the obs studio folder and we are going to go ahead and launch obs and once you have it open you're going to right click under sources and click add and click spectralizer and i already have one set up uh, from what you saw earlier, but for the sake of this, we're going to create a new one and then we're going to hit OK. And you have, well, you can see white bars here. And right now we don't have anything, but what we're going to do is choose our audio source and we're going to choose the microphone where you can see it's reacting to my voice at the top left corner. But we're going to go ahead and blow that up to stretch to the screen so you can see what is happening. So you have modes of the bars here and actually it's, these are new since the last time I've used them we have the bars as you can see but we also have circular bars which you can see in many of the NCS videos or any other uh, music videos uh, so-called videos you see on YouTube and also you have your thin wire that also reacts to whatever source you have this set to but for the sake of this tutorial we are going to use the bars and we can set the color to whatever color we want uh, based on your settings. So we're just going to choose red for this. And also you have your filter, which uh, you can do without. But if you look closely, they do have different features uh, or rather different visual um, you know, differences. So we're going to use the Monster Cat filter. Right now you see where it is now, but if we were to turn it all the way down, all the bars are going to be uniform, but based on the strength of it, it's going to fluctuate based on the direction the audio is going. And then you also have your SGS filter, which you can use numbers instead of just a slider per se. But we're just going to go ahead and use no filters because we're fine with the way it is. But again, feel free to tune this the way you want it for your project. And you also have your bar width, your bar height, and bar spacing to shorten or you know uh, lift in the bars as you need it. And also, there's a new one for round corners as well, but I'm fine with using squares. And you also have automatic scaling, which you can see here. This <laughs> I'm basically behind bars. That's if you want the bars to go all the way up. But I'm gonna go ahead and use automatic scaling. And also the gravity is going to be based on how frequent the bars are raised based on audio activity. But we are going to just keep it to, I guess this is good. We can use it like this too. Uh, but I normally use the stereo option, which is what you saw previously. Or actually we can do that as well. So that's actually pretty cool. It's actually something slightly different from the previous versions of the specializer. But yeah, you got some options here. It's very customizable and especially with the circular bar that actually makes it very cool too. So that's your specializer tutorial and plugin installation. So I hope you enjoy this be sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up and share and subscribe if you enjoy this tutorial i am nakaichi i will see you next time so long